Hi, this is Vir Pitervonen, and in this video you will learn about YouTube Annotations Editor. Annotations Editor lets you layer text, hotspots, and links over to your YouTube video, which is a great way to add interactivity and engagement by adding all that additional information without really using a video editor. So this is a YouTube uh, benefit, YouTube feature that you can use to enhance your YouTube videos. And in this video you will get a basic overview of, of how to access and use annotations editor. First let's see how the annotations actually look like in YouTube video. Next you will see a video that has a annotation as a layer text with a call to action. So this is what you can do also for example to ask people to subscribe to your channel. So here you see the annotation text and as you can see people can close it if they don't want to uh, see it and next I'll show you how to add these annotations on top as a layer of your own YouTube videos. To get started you need to be logged in into your own YouTube account and then you have to browse to the video manager section. So that you find the video manager by clicking the your account link here on the top right hand corner and here you will find video manager and you can also find the video manager department by clicking the arrow down next to the upload button. So we'll go to the video manager and here you choose the video this is where you see all your uploads and from here you can edit each of your videos. To start editing you locate the video that you want to edit. Uh, of course you have to upload it first so if you haven't uploaded the video that you want to add the annotations so go ahead and upload it first. I'm going to use the one that I already have here and I'm going to edit the annotations so you will find it by clicking the button here and uh, browsing to annotations and clicking the link and also when you visit the video itself you will see the options that you can do here at the video manager up here uh, up at the top navigation bar so you can select the annotations from here as well we click the annotations and here on the right hand side you will see add annotation you have selection of different type of annotations you have speech bubble note title which is text spotlight label and pause button after you have added annotation you also have the opportunity to option to edit your existing annotation and here you can browse through your existing annotations but first let's add an annotation I like a note one so here is the one that uh, you just add the text here and as you can see I added the text here and here in the preview you will see the note graphics and I can when I, I can drag and drop it where I want to I also can slightly edit the text so here you can choose the size of the text here you can choose is it uh, text black or white and here you can choose the background color of the text you can also change the size of the note tab and drag it where you want, want it to appear if you want your annotation to be a link you scroll down and mark the link button you can link it to another video playlist YouTube channel uh, to the subscribe page or a fundraising project like indiegogo.com so it is limited where you can link your video to it is uh, better to either to link it to your channel or your playlist so in this case visit this link for more videos I could have my uh, for example LinkedIn play LinkedIn training video playlist here and I'd uh, in you know encourage people to visit that playlist with this you don't need to make it a link but this is the way how you do it and of course uh, you can choose open the link in the new window or not here on the left hand side you have the option of 
choosing at what time point and how long this note will appear. So this shows the length of the video and this one shows how long and where in the video your note will appear, your annotation will appear and you can shorten the existence of it or make it longer as you wish. When you are happy how the, into the text and uh, the location and the length of your annotation with your video, you can publish your, your video with annotation and then you can view it to see how it looks like. So I added the new annotation about in three minutes into this video, so we'll be seeing that in a few moments. And here it is. Visit this link for more videos. So as you remember, I did not link it to a playlist, but if, if, if it were a link, clicking here would take me to the playlist I connected this annotation with. And uh, as always, I can close this if I feel that I'd prefer to watch the video. This was a very basic overview of how to access and use the annotations editor with your YouTube videos. So I hope that you will get started using annotations because they can be very, very useful in getting more subscribers and getting your video viewers to view more of your YouTube video. And of course, you can have that call to action. It's, it cannot be a link, but you can ask them to visit your website or your Facebook page or whatever other destination outside YouTube. YouTube you want them to visit to get more information more videos or maybe a free report and so on. So this is Virpi of IntegrateReturns.com. Thank you for watching the video. 